death upon me. Blood in my dog and I can't. What's going on, Alpha and Omega fam? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. How y'all doing today? It's pretty good. I'm on leave, so I'm happy. <laughs> this is all I've got to do now for like the next 27 days, 26 days. Hey, I'm loving every second of it. Hey, so we've got another new guy that I've never heard of. Uh, Crypt Night in September. Now, if I was to go by the name, I would think it's like some kind of metal band or something. But I've seen in the thumbnail, uh, I don't know. It could have been metal, but I, I don't know. Like I said, we'll find out. Uh, this is called Night in September by Crypt. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, shoot. I forgot to turn it on, my bad. This computer so I can see it. I'm liking the creepy undertone. Uh oh, that don't look good. Okay, it is not metal. <laughs> it is not. We're learning, right? We're learning and growing. Let's uh, let's take this back because this this is looking kind of familiar. I ain't even gonna lie. Not like that I've seen it before, but there's there's something about it familiar. Okay. All right. All right. There's. I. It might be soon. I don't want to say nothing, but. Did you just say something about you're bleeding on your period, but you're not? You got hemophilia. Hemophilia is like the ability where like. Your body doesn't create blood clots. So if you get a cut, you bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed. And it's hard to stop it. So Okay. All right. Let's see. I, like I said, I don't know this guy. So I'm going to give him a fair chance. Okay, so his girl cheated on him. He felt like killing, you know, deleting himself. Sounds like he might have attempted it. But I'm just going to call it. This is very, uh, very uh, Kim esque. All right, I get a very strong Eminem Kim vibe from this, or possibly Stan because he's got his girl in the trunk, but yet he's talking. Okay, all right. Okay, so is this guy like heavily influenced by Eminem? Like somebody let me know. I, I don't know nothing about the dude. The rap's good. It's okay. It's I like it so far. We'll, we'll see where it goes. Print opportunities. Women trying to make me happy, but I pushed them back because I knew that you were all I need. Put the bag over my head and I tied it tight. My vision started slipping. I was getting less light. I was finally forgetting the misery and the fights. And my mind started taking me through all of my life. Flashback three years ago, I was in my college dorm, flipping through Instagram, looking for another soul. Then I came across you and followed you. A minute later, you followed me back and I knew it was time to make a move. So I messaged you. Here's my number. You can text me if you want to. Trying to play cool, but I was nervous. I've been curved by girls who were less pretty than you, but then I got a text. Oh, he said he'd been hurt by girls that was less pretty than you. Later, you followed me back, and I knew it was time to make a move. 
so I message you. Here's my number. You can text me if you want to. Trying to play cool, but I was nervous. I've been hurt by girls who were less pretty than you. But yeah, I've been hurt by girls who was less pretty than you. Okay. All right, so he's got confidence issues. I see. Then I got a text and then we made some plans to go on a double date with some friends that weekend. We watched a movie. We sat in the back the whole time. We made out and laid down on my side of the car. When your shirt came off and then you cried real hard. But how you lifted, he was big and your right one was small. I said I didn't care. And is he talking about her boobs? Talk about how the left one was big and the right one was small and her shirt came off. Did I hear that right? They were some friends that weekend. We watched a movie. We sat in the back the whole time. We made out and laid down on my side of the car. Your shirt came off. Laid down on his side of the what? We watched a movie. We sat in the back the whole time. We made out and laid down on my side of the car. Your shirt came off and then you cried real hard. But how you left it, he was big and your right one was small. I said I didn't care. I knew it didn't end there. This was a mistake. What didn't happen? It was in the air. I've known this girl for an hour and now her chest is bare. This is something I never normally do. I swear. We need to take it slow. I really like you and I'm scared. But then you crawled up in my bed with no underwear. I should Really, bro? <sighs> Man, I don't know. I don't know what woman he is talking about, but he does not like her very much anymore. Hey, man, look, you know, like I said, I'm getting them Kim vibes from it. We'll see where it goes. <laughs> Did he say I was in your, your, your uh, bottom area before I met your dad? Hold on. Bear. This is something I never normally do, I swear We need to take it slow, I really like you when I'm scared But then you crawled up in my bed with no underwear I should've known it wouldn't last when I was in your ass Before I met your dad, and man, this shit is sad But it's a fact, you went for months without the use of a fucking tear back Man, this shit was scary Even though I knew I never nutted in you, but you tell me I think I'm pregnant, you no, know, I know I'm pregnant I'm getting more than sickness and my belly stretching But it turned out your hormones are fucked up You somehow thought that I would leave you struck That's when you told me, Daniel would never do this Plenty of times we thought I was having his kid But his jizz was McClendon, hit my tits and lips Man, I still Woo, hold on, this dude is mad. How long is this song? Six minutes? Holy crap. Signs were dead the whole time, but fake love can make your eyes so blind. I thought what we had would last a lifetime, but your ass lied, so now you gotta die. What if I treated you like you treated me? Went through your phone every single motherfucking opportunity. Don't you come into with me? You're the one that didn't trust me. Thought it was fucking every other thought in the sea. Wait a second, don't let me get ahead of the story. That was the first six months. We got plenty more. Did you go see? Where were we? Oh yeah, that's right. Then at a year ago, and I tried to commit suicide, so my life still flashing before my eyes. The memory of our first fight has just went by. Then I remember that next September you drove in now with to go see a guy who just happened to be in that. Boyfriend, the one he cheated on me with, but back then it was just an old friend. Whoa, man, I get really pissed and told it you, but you got mad at me because I got mad at you. What the fuck was I supposed to do? Be okay, all right, baby. Okay, so I feel like he's just airing out a bad relationship that he had right now, like some chick that you know he gave his all to and she screwed him over. I mean, that's you know, that's a story of every man's lifetime. There's always that one that we just you know, we give it all to. And women ask that all the time, too. You know, like, well, why don't you love me? Why don't you give me the best? You Well, there's reasons, you know. I mean, it's the same reason you do it to us. Can go and hang out with the no flame. You're an hour away and nobody knows that you're there. I'm sure you're going to talk about how you dyed your hair. Now, here we are, six months later, when the same thing happened to me. An ex girlfriend hits me up to hang out. You see that I told her no, but still accused me of cheating, even though I have the receipts. And now it's the peak of this bullshit because you got pissed at me for weeks, thinking I was underneath some seats with someone else. But bitch, that's what you were doing. Can't you see what the fuck you done? You turned an innocent man into a guilty one. I never wanted it to be like this. I loved you, but you made it to the point where I can't even trust you. It's kind of funny that you waited till I graduated college to tell me that you no longer want to be with me but that was just for the moment you just wanted to break so you could try another dude and fucking keep me your strength and that's exactly what happened need to remind you of the trip to orlando when you found that we lied to you then you tried to get back with me but it felt weird because you know that you were a liar too i can read it okay this is oh man look i he's he seems like a good rapper really but did the song really need to be six minutes and 40 seconds long Talking about some hoe that cheated on him, I guess. You know, like, it's, it's good, but it's long, man. And I feel like he just keeps going over the same thing over and over. She cheated with this dude. She cheated with that dude. Now now she lied to him, said he was cheating, but he wasn't cheating. And they, it's just back and forth. Like, bro, you could have did that in three and a half minutes. 
Four minutes, maybe. Six minutes and 40 seconds? Holy crap, bro. Like, I'm not hating on it. I'm really not. I'm just saying it's, it's kind of drawn out. But it's good. I mean, it's really good. It's just drawn out. On your face, things were different. We no longer had faith, and you just seemed too distant. And I didn't change a bit. It was all you, but you acted like it was me, and it would fall through. Even though that summer, I went to a jeweler and I picked out a brand new ring. I had asked your dad if I could marry you. So wait a minute, you went through all this shit with this chick, and you still went out and bought this woman a ring, bruh. <laughs> Bruh, like really? Come on, man. And the first time old girl would have cheated on me, she'd have been. Say ya! I went to a jeweler and I picked out a brand new ring. I had asked your dad if I could marry you, and he said that it was the best thing. But on May 15th, we sat down at the back of the house on the porch swing, and you told me that you wanted a break, and it was all you, and it wasn't me. And I broke down and had to leave your house, and your mom asked what had happened to me, but you lied to her and said I broke up with you, but we both know that you broke up with me, because you wanted to be. Oh my God, look, man. Like I said, this is good. It really is. I like the production value. It's it's a good music video, but he's just drawing it out, man, with this he says, she says stuff. Like, do we... Uh, like, you could have broke this down to a simpler version, and, and people still would have understood what was going on. We don't need the entire life history about it, bro. I'm just saying. Like I said, I don't know the music. I, I don't know the artist. I'm only going based solely off of what I'm seeing presented in front of me. And this is way too drawn out with too many redundancies. An angel in the rise and didn't want them to see that their baby girl lied, but their baby girl lied with another man. But she was dating me and I don't understand how you can sleep at night. How the fuck can you keep any sort of peace of mind? How the fuck can you think what you did to me was even sort of justified? You fucking cheated and you broke my trust for the past two years. I've been so fucked up. It affected my brain. It affected my strife. It affected my ways. I thought in my mind. It affected my days. It affected my nights. It affected every single aspect of my life. It affected my pain. It affected my strife. It affected my say not just of my time. Man, fuck. You and I both already had both our kids' names picked out. You and I both already had our homes and our home lives played. I mean, realistically, he's like, you know, we got our kids' names picked out. We did all this. You know, you cheated on me, and I still bought you a ring. But I mean, it sounds like some shit high schoolers go through. Or like some teenage love drama. You know, oh, I'm fresh out of high school. I want to marry my high school sweetheart, but she's still banging the soccer team. Like, it's just drawn out, man. It's, it's, it's very drawn out. This could have been a three and a half minute song. Planned out, but I got... The last thing that my Which is a shame because the beat is fire. The beat's fire. Even the mu the music video production is good. Even though he's just sitting in a car and it's like switching mirrors. And every once in a while shows old girl in the trunk. Which I'm sure at some point he's either going to drive off a bridge with her. Or he's going to be burying her in a field somewhere. I mean, like I said, it's very Kim-esque. It's great, but it could have been shortened by half. Easily. My grandma told me before she closed her eyes for eternity She was sad that she never got to meet my kids That was six months ago and it burns in me Because of you, I can never give her that I wasted three years of my life and I can't get it back So flashback to the back over my eyes I just sent you a text asking why you don't want to be with me Don't you lie, so you called me and I heard you cry You said you had to tell me something that you never wanted to But you just couldn't deal with the lies I took the bag off my head And I drove to meet you at the church gate And you got in the passenger seat again Just like you did on our first date But this time Cause he spit the hopes on my line And you led me to believe that I had a chance to save our love from dying That's when you told me that you cheated, slept with your ex and kept them under wraps Just so I wouldn't see it Told me that I couldn't treat you any better But felt like my love for you had depleted and that's when you picked up the phone And you called Daniel to confide You felt like you were all alone On the cold September night Then you left my heart to Man, was that booty cheeks? Come on, Crip you felt like you were all alone <laughs> on the cold September night. Then you left my heart torn and so broke, and you drove off into the night. And that's when I went on home to put a bullet between my eyes. But before I do that, I had to get you, and that's why we're here now. I had to tell the story of how you fucked my life up, but now there's a big crowd. You ain't give me memories, you give me scars, a low self esteem, and a broken heart. I know you're scared, but just remember, you caused this that night in September. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, well, we can't win them all, right? Like, uh, that was, uh, oh uh, man, I don't want to dog on this guy because, like I said, I don't know any of his other music, but that was way too long, way too long, bro. You, you could have did that whole thing in three minutes and 30 seconds, up to and including the, uh, the apparent both you know, deletions. It was just too long, man. Like, God dang. I didn't want to hear the whole life story about it, you know, and it was very Kim-esque, you know, and Stan. So I could tell he's probably influenced by him a little bit. And like I said, I don't, I don't hate it. I really don't. It was just too long. It was too long and it was predictable. Other than that, I mean, you know, he's got good flow. He's, he can rap good. You know, he, and I can tell he's one of them speed rappers, too, just by how fast he was going at some points of the car. He's one of them rapidy rappers. Blah, 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 blah. Not even Midwest Chopper. Just blah, 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 you know. But he's good. He's good. I'm not knocking him. Uh, if you guys know anything else by him that's good, drop it down in the comments. I'll check it out. Like I said, it was the first time I ever heard of the dude. I ain't, I ain't beating up on him or nothing like that. I just, you know, honest criticism. That's all it is, bro. Please don't take it in a bad way. Y'all take care of each other out there. Keep spreading that peace, love, and positivity. I'm Joey, and I'm out. Peace.